right, welcome. We got some news with the Google Pixel uh, update, the beta program. Um, there was, seemed to be a little mishap in their update steps and or process. I was on, or I am on, Android uh, beta QP3, uh, excuse me, QPR3 beta 3. And just last week, it tried to install Android 14 beta, which I did not want because there's a ton of bugs. Now, I literally just now got a notification for another update. I thought it was, it was trying to install Android 14 again. I disabled the automatic update so it wouldn't automatically update me to Android 14 beta. However, I just took a look at it, and it's Android 13 beta 3. Excuse me, Android 13 QPR 3 beta 3.1. So there was a mishap in everybody that was enrolled in Android beta 13. It tried to push Android 14 to everybody. And for those of you that accepted it, um, I'm sure you are regretting it. And for those of you that paused it and disabled automatic updates, like myself, thank God I did because today... They're rolling out the continuation of Android 13 beta. Um, I'm going to install it right now. Um, as you can tell, let's see, right here. I paused it just to do the video. Um, but here's some of the bug fixes. Now, the beta on my phone has been perfect, so I don't have many bugs. But this brand new Android beta 13 QPR3. 3.1, which is a mouthful. Let's see the official bug fixes. Uh, state that. Um, let's see. Fixes various stability issues. Fixes an issue that caused the first notification in the notification shade and or panel to get stuck with an offset. So like if you try to swipe it away, it won't swipe. It'll just get stuck on the side. I think that's happened to me once or twice. So it'll fix that. Um, fixed a memory leak. It fixes a memory leak that affected the system UI. I haven't noticed anything. Maybe I've had that. Maybe I haven't. It, this also fixes an issue where the volume level that was set while TalkBack was enabled did not persist after toggling TalkBack off and on again. I haven't messed with that, so I don't know if I have that one. Let's see, fixes an issue with the system UI that sometimes caused apps to crash. I haven't really had any apps crash on this one. Uh, fixes issue that could cause a device to crash when using the camera. Uh, never had that issue. It also fixes issues that sometimes cause excessive power drain. Now, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, the battery life on this phone is phenomenal. The best battery life I've ever gotten on any, not, a, not necessarily any phone, but definitely any Pixel. A few days ago, uh, I unplugged it at 7 a.m. In general use throughout the day, nothing heavy. Um, but at like 4.37, it was at 72%. So it only drained, you know, 28% in... Geez, I don't know, 10 hours, something like that. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, let's see, there's a couple other fixed issues that could cause a device to crash when using the camera. Yeah, I haven't had that. Even bad. Sometimes causes um, battery drain issues. So, the battery life technically should get a little better if you don't have any memory leaks or excessive power drain. It's just going to reaffirm that there are no uh, uh, um, memory leaks and or battery drains. Now, it says this security update also comes with the May 2023 security patch. And let's see if there's any other information for you. It says Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, and Pixel 6a are still on the April release. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be basically just for the 7 series, 7 Pro and 7. Um, they do list, let's see, it says if you're currently enrolled in the Android beta program and your device is still running Android 13 QPR3, whether it be beta 2, 
beta 2.1 or beta 3, it says you will automatically receive an over-the-air update to QPR3 Android Beta 3.1, which is this update that just literally came out a couple minutes ago. This is Android Beta 13, QPR3 Beta 3.1. It says this update will temporarily replace any pending Android 14 Beta updates, which you can verify in the OTA message by reviewing the build number. And then it gives a whole bunch of links to um, the factory image. Now, I'm going to go check the Google uh, factory image page and see. They should have this listed. I'm not sure. Um, if you can sideload it onto your phone, if you want to test it out, I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I bet if you try to enroll since they accidentally, or I don't say accidentally, but it seems like it was a mistake. They're not saying anything about it besides you know, kind of admitting to it. If you go try to enroll in Android beta right now, I bet it puts you in Android 13 instead of Android 14. I know there was a uh, subscriber of the channel that was saying he tried to enroll in the beta program and it automatically tried to push him to Android 14, which I strongly suggested not doing because of how many bugs there were. It looks like they might have fixed that issue. So if you're interested in enrolling in the beta program, I would check it again because I guarantee you they fixed that issue. Because they know Android 14 is like super, super beta and very, very few people, they know that, are going to enroll in this. It's mainly for developers. It's mainly for app developers testing their apps on a, the new Android version just to get their app ready for Android 14 when it is released. But Google knows that most pe regular people like me and you just want a kind of a newer version of Android, beta version of Android, and don't want all the bugs. So I guarantee you, here's what you do. Uh, restart your phone, power it off, power it back on, and then check for, um, uh, 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 go to the beta program page and activate, click your device that, uh, pixel that you want to activate, and then hit submit. And then within a minute or two, you'll get a notification on your uh, in your Pixel. Select that notification and see, before you hit install, read the little paragraph and see right here. Because once you enroll on Google's, uh, on the Google Beta program and you and you select the device, the Pixel you want to you enroll, hit submit. And literally within a couple minutes, maybe one minute, you'll get a notification on the, in the top of your phone. And before you hit it, hit hit install down there, read this little paragraph. It should say this, Android, um, this update, yeah, for Android 13, make sure it says Android 13. If it doesn't say Android 13 beta, don't install it. 100% don't install it. And I'm going to tell you how to, um, if you actually accidentally get to where um, it looks like you're going to install it, um, go to settings. I'll tell you how to un. I'll tell you how to stop a a update from updating on your device. If you go to um, settings, you go to system. You go to developer options. Now, if you don't have developer options enabled, you're going to want to go to settings, uh, system. Well, that's where the, uh, okay, so go to settings to enable developer options. Go to settings, about phone, and then you're going to go down to the build the number settings, about phone, on where it says build number in the very bottom. Touch that like seven times in a row real quick. That'll activate developer options. Go back and go to settings, system, developer options. And then in developer options, you will see right here, automatic system updates. Make sure that's not selected so it won't automatically enroll you in a beta program you don't want to be in. So make sure that's not selected on your Pixel. Um, and I'm going to post the, or you can check um, so you don't have to go searching. I'm going to post um, the Android beta program link where it gives you all this information. And it also gives you, this link will also let you enroll one of your devices. So um, if, you, if you want to enroll in Android Beta 13, 
now's the time. Um, I believe they got it fixed to where when you try to enroll, it pushes you to 14. I think they fixed that, right? So now you can enroll in the beta um, 13 because the beta, pro, the thir Android 13 beta on these phones are phenomenal. Battery life is just, is out of this world. So I wanted to make this video, give you all an update on the Android beta program. It looks like they fixed it. So if you want to give it a try, I would strongly suggest downloading and installing it, enrolling it, downloading, installing it. Um, they have it pretty good. The bug fixes that they stated that they fixed in this, I only had maybe one. Um, it's it's basically a, a, a good build for you to run on your Pixel. So um, give it a try. If you got a Pixel, now's the time to enroll. All right.